this area is known as the Colombian Massive. It is where at least four of the most important rivers in the country are born. Edgar Jimenez community, the Yanacuna, was brought here from Peru to work as slaves in the mines. Now 400 years later, Edgar is leading the fight to ban mining in the area permanently. We will fight to hold our vote on mining. We are creating working groups, laying the ground so that we can legally ban mining here. We have to convince everyone that this is the best for our community. La Vega is where indigenous people and farmers have coexisted for decades. Most of them live off the land. And now they want to call for a plebiscite that will allow communities like this one to say no to mining. This area used to be controlled by the FARC rebel group, but the peace process has opened up the possibility of exploiting thousands of hectares of land around the country. In fact, mining companies have already expressed their interest in these mountains that are supposedly filled with gold, platinum and other metals. But people in this community say that this water is much more important than any metal and they're willing to do anything to defend their territory. Colombia is struggling to leave conflict behind. Dozens of municipalities are hoping to vote on mining and hydrocarbon projects. The consultations have mining companies worried. Luis Murillo says finding balance is crucial at this time. We are in a post-conflict environment. In the past, people couldn't say much because there was a lot more fear. But we're also sure that we need the private sector and private investments in mining, agriculture and other projects because these projects will generate opportunities for the people. But banning legal mining may increase the chances of illegal activity. Dozens of areas all around the country have been destroyed. 80% of the gold in Colombia is illegal. It doesn't pay taxes. It's more destructive than companies that at least we can try to regulate. So I'm not sure what's worse. This is a river in Choco. The river has disappeared. The levels of mercury are so high that people cannot fish. They cannot drink the water. But Edgar says his community has been able to prevent all sorts of mining activity here. They're hoping that winning a plebiscite will reinforce their will to continue fighting those who they believe will destroy their way of life. <laughs> Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, La Vega, Colombia.